even after the music ended, I'm in love with the shape of you. The cheering didn't stop. You could still hear his fans loud and clear as Ed Sheeran made his way to our interview at Rockefeller Plaza, where we sat down with him and focused on the secrets of his record-breaking success. Complete this sentence. Success requires... Uh, persistence. You don't have to have the best talent in the world. You just have to work hard and keep going for it. Like, my dream was not where I am now. My dream was ages before. It was just to be a singer and make a living from it. Just 26 years old, Ed Sheeran has sold 20 million albums, including his latest number one, Divide. I was younger then. But he's an unlikely pop idol. As a shy teenager growing up in rural England, he would sing on street corners, hoping for his first big break. So you've admitted that you were sort of an awkward kid? Yeah. Yeah, do I, I mean, I'm quite an awkward adult as well. <laughs> like, yeah. A lot of uh, creative people tended to be shy when they were younger. I think I was shy when I was really young, but I think all performers crave is attention, really. So, uh, so I think I was that kind of kid. And very successful people tend to be insecure. Are you insecure? I think everyone's insecure, yeah, of course I'm insecure. Every, every, everyone I know is insecure. I, don't, I think successful people are overly insecure because you have people kind of poking holes in you the whole time. I thought it was interesting because I know that you're not a huge fan of Twitter anymore, which I can relate to, and it is full of vitriol there. But I think people would be surprised to learn that Ed Sheeran gets affected by a nasty tweet. We have feelings too. Uh, yeah, I th but I think, I think it's important for men to ad admit that. I think because I, most men that I know were insecure, but for fear of being called a precious little snowflake would never say anything. And, yeah, I think um, if you read anything negative about yourself, it doesn't m matter who you are, you wonder why someone thinks that. And the thing that I couldn't get my head around is I'd never met any of these people and they were having, you know, they just it, it had woken up that morning and be like, oh, I don't like him. Is it true you gave up your phone in January after a New Year's resolution? Two Januaries ago. Yeah, I haven't had it for a year and a half now. How yeah. has that changed your life? It's pretty amazing. Yeah, pretty amazing. I don't, I don't live on a... In, in a screen, like after this interview, I would have just gone straight into that, got in the car, just said, kind of walked around like that. But now, yeah, now I, I think a lot more. Like, I, don't, I never really spent, spent my day thinking, but now when I'm waiting for someone, the only thing I can do is just think because there's nothing to stare at. Now, I read that your goal is to sell 20 million copies of this album, Divide, mm -hmm. and you want to overtake Adele in terms of record sales. Yeah, and I, I feel like me saying this, a, a lot of people were like, that's such an arrogant thing to say and blah, blah, blah. It's, I think you need to choose someone that's at the top of the game. Like, I probably won't sell 20 million records and I probably won't ever be as big as Adele, but if you don't aim for the top of the mountain, how are you ever going to get halfway? Right, and set high goals for yourself. Yeah. So... But the problem is that my point never comes across with that because that quote is now just, I want to be bigger than Adele. That, that should be your goal. Yeah, the word Adele is just something that no one should... With basically. <laughs> so if you if you put that into any sentence, prepare to be like shut down. Note to self. It's like no, you can't go near that. Yeah. Okay. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.